Good morning, dear colleagues. We start our working day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. The topic of the first press briefing is Ukrainian Jewish Encounter announces its program to commemorate the 75th anniversary of Babin Yar. Our guests are Adrian Kartnitsky, board member Ukrainian Jewish Encounter, Peter Zalmayev, board member American Jewish Committee in New York, and Natalia Fedeshak, Director on Communication, Ukrainian Jewish Encounter. Dear guests, welcome on stage. Good afternoon. I would like to thank everyone who comes today I'm Natalia Fedeshak, Director of Communications, the Ukraine Jewish Encounter. Our organization was started in 2008 in order to strengthen the dialogue between Ukrainians and uh, Jews. These are two people who uh, lived uh, in the, on this land and this is a very important historic mo mo moment for Ukraine. and. Our cooperation is important for both countries and both people. Our organization for several years supported conferences connected with history, festivals, and also literature festivals. We were recently in Arsenal. We had two panel discussions, and in September, Ukraine uh, will commemorate and mark 75th uh, anniversary of uh, the Babin Yar, and we went from Israel and we um, encountered with journalists and uh, politicians, and uh, they had the great interest in this date that is so important for both people, and I will give the uh, word to um, my colleague, and he is going to tell us about the programs that we will have in Kiev, and we will be ready to answer your questions. Good morning. I'm glad to see you all, and I would like to say that firstly, I will report on the events of our organizations and uh, the events that will be held um, on the 29th that will be the uh, date commemorated. Um, that when the uh, tragedy started that day, and uh, there will be some um, commemoration uh, events, and you know that uh, last year the president uh, restored the committee, organization committee, that deals with the, the concept of state events and parallel to this, there are some public initiatives and the representatives of uh, Jewish World Jewish Congress and other international organizations will take part uh, in these events uh, and the uh, sessions of this committee. But I would like to tell you about uh, the public events. We understand that there will be some leaders of the key European states and uh, uh, from the state of Israel, and uh, we send these invitations to the minister and to the Ministry of uh, uh, Foreign Affairs, and they will uh, be ready for the events, but there will be a number of uh, additional events, and I guess the whole Kiev and whole Ukraine uh, will discuss the issues of Holocaust. That will be the opportunity to broaden the discussion on, of these tragic events of the past and uh, to, to elevate the level of this discussion and to discuss the occupation uh, of uh, Kiev and of Ukraine and uh, also this event is very important, really important. That was real tragedy of mass murder. 
and uh, 34,000 uh, Jews were killed during these several days in September 1941. And um, uh, this should be the commemoration of uh, this strategy and also there will um, Mr. Fuchsmal also organize the concert for Jewish community on the 29th of uh, September and Pinchuk also organized uh, some events in his gallery, art gallery. Uh, that will be the exhibition of modern arts that will uh, display the images of uh, some um, events uh, that were there and also there will be some forums and conferences held and we contribute to uh, these events and we invited uh, uh, Professor Neumark, Neumann Neumark from Stanford University he is in, uh, an expert in uh, uh, genocide issues and Timothy Snyder and Karl Verkhoff also will come here. And parallel, we organize a number of events. And for the week, there will be the conference for young people, for youth, for Ukrainian and Jewish activists, leaders, intellectuals, scientists. And uh, that will be uh, young people uh, and uh, Mr. Shupak from Dnipropetrovsk will help to organize. Uh, he is the member of Cent uh, Kuma, uh, Center of uh, Jewish Heritage. And also we uh, organize big event and competition that will be devoted to the landscape design of the complex and uh, the dialogue between World Congress and the Ukrainian government. There is a number of proposals how to design this territory and our competition is advisory and there is an international jury of the representatives of different uh, architect uh, organizations uh, from Israel, Europe, and experts from Ukraine, from Great Britain, Germany, Sweden, uh, uh, France, uh, Ukraine, and uh, from America. These are leading experts that uh, can create this uh, design, and there will be a competition held, and three best designs will be presented at Ukraine um, uh, house, Ukrainian house, and then um, these designs will be submitted to the government in order to make this territory uh, more dignified as a place of uh, uh, like a historic preservation site, sacred place of memory, a necropolis. There were some different, uh, and the idea of this competition is the overall approach, comprehensive approach to the uh, landscape design of uh, this uh, territory. These uh, de designs will be discussed and submitted to the government, and then we will hold a symposium and, uh, with the Ukrainian and international experts, and there will be book created in English and uh, and the editor will be Paul, Paul uh, Robert Magati, uh, head of chair of Ukrainian studies in Tor at Toronto University and Vladislav Grinevich, Ukrainian histori uh, historian of the world uh, of the war period and also uh, our main event at the day of uh, commemor commemoration that will be the great concert in the Opera Theater. Hamburg Symphonic Orchestra will be there and some Ukrainian 
performers will join. Um, Dumka Choir also will uh, perform. And they will take part also. And this is under the leadership of Ukrainian um, singer uh, from diaspora from England, Pavel Gunka, and uh, uh, the also Oksana Leniev is the uh, conductor. She was born in Brode, and now she's deputy uh, conductor of Bavarian opera, uh, Ms. Leniev. And uh, Kirill Petrenka also will be the main conductor at Berlin Philharmonic. And uh, I guess we created quality group of performers and artists. The program will consist of, of three elements, Jewish uh, uh, Kolnidre uh, prayer, requiem, Stankevich uh, requiem, that was ready for the fifth un 50th anniversary. And also, there will be, we will have re Brown's requiem. The president of Ukraine will be a patron of this project and uh, this event will be held uh, under his supervision. So this is general layout of these events and we hope that the representatives of international community will come and Ukrainian diaspora and uh, leading intellectuals and writers. We want to draw the attention of the world press and we closely cooperate. We are not a government initiative, but we closely cooperate with the with presidential administration and with government. And we hope that uh, uh, we will succeed in holding these events and uh, that it will be uh, a good intellectual approach towards uh, discussion and commemoration of this event. So starting from 23rd uh, of uh, September till 29th of September, these will be, uh, this time will be dedicated to, to uh, commemoration events and all the citizens will discuss this tragic issue. And Babin Yar is a tragedy, and at the time, Auschwitz is the s a symbol of industrialization of Holocaust, mass uh, murders, uh, the mechanisms of uh, mass murders. And Babin Yar is the bright example of Holocaust by bullets. And uh, 1.5 million Jews were tortured and, uh, in this terrible way. And this form of Holocaust was predominant in Ukraine at that time. And I give the floor to Peter Zavmaev that is going to tell us information about this. He's from Donetsk and he went to the USA and uh, he is the um, he is a board member of American Jewish Committee in New York, and uh, they cooperate with us closely in the preparation uh, of the uh, world community to these events and uh, uh, to participate in our events. Thank you, Adrian. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Peter Zalmaev. I'm board member American Jewish Committee. Uh, New York State, and also I am a coordinator of Ukrainian Jewish Encounter organizations, um, and we now deal with the project that is um, connected with Babin Yur, and uh, uh, our committee 
is uh, the biggest diaspora organizations outside Israel, the oldest, uh, started uh, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, and offices of this organization are in every state of the United States, and representatives of uh, um, uh, also in Europe, in several countries, and also in Israel. In this context, my task is to form a delegation of uh, American Jewish Committee in order to attend the meetings and events of Ukrainian Jewish Encounter. And we hope that American uh, um, Jewish Committee will be headed by its president and also other representatives of organizations from different states. The main aim is to educate people, to tell about the fact that Babin Yar is the symbol of Holocaust, the Holocaust that was made by bu bullets, not by gas cameras, and this was the first most tragic events during the Second World War. This was crime against the Jewish people, and uh, we hope that American Jewish Committee will be represented at the highest level. And we work with the representatives of the committee in order to form a group of young people, young activists from the United States, from Western Europe, and from Israel that will come and will take part in a special uh, conference for youth. And uh, that will be the conference. It will be held for several days, and it will include several symposium, as Andrea told you. And there will be leading scientists that uh, study Holocaust. Also, we work with the uh, uh, World Jewish uh, Committee that form uh, 20 uh, groups of 20 representatives, and that will the brightest young. Uh, leaders of, from the whole world that will take part in this event, in the symposium, in conference, and uh, uh, also they will take part uh, in the events of the 29th of September. Also, this uh, world organization will compose a group of uh, uh, 200 uh, schools from different uh, sc uh, school uh, different school uh, school children of different schools of ukraine that will take uh, that will be taken to kiev to pay take part in some uh, commemorative events uh, so i uh, want I, 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 so now the questions and uh, please introduce yourself first natalia pavlenka cmc first question do you have some confirmation that our um, president and uh, prime minister are ready to participate? Not only like pa uh, patrons, but also will they be present there? And also you were speaking about conference for young people. What is the role of young people and what do you expect from this young generation? As to the first question, I want to say that Four or five months ago, we had a meeting with the president and also with the uh, former prime minister, prime minister. We meet uh, Mr. Pavlenka and we take part in all the events and we have confirmation directly from the uh, president that he will take part in our events and we harmonize our events and those events that the Jewish community organize here together with the state in order to have it smoothly. And we have such a confirmation. As to other events, they are not at that high level in order that there should be a place for these high figures like president. And maybe there will be some deputies or members of government, but we did not agree on that. So these will be mainly intellectual scientists, experts that will discuss uh, moral issues connected with uh, these uh, events. The only thing I want to say is that we have strategic partnership with World uh, Jewish Congress, and we understand that uh, 
the head, uh, Mr. Uh, Ronald Round, Round uh, the head of this organization. Uh, they support uh, uh, Jews in Western, uh, in Eastern Europe, and uh, he will be one of the main participants of the world uh, um, community and participation in these uh, events. And as to the youth conference, we were in Israel with Peter, and, and we met uh, Ms. Plasco, and uh, she is head of Department of French between Ukraine and uh, uh, between Ukraine and uh, Israel, the issue of young people is very important in Israel, and these formal and non-formal uh, meetings between young people, they have opportunity not only to speak about the past of our nations, and young people, of course, should know about the past, but uh, people, young people, can establish dialogue and can cooperate among themselves, and we can see the development of this cooperation and uh, to contribute to the future of the development of our nations. Yeah. And this U conference for youth will have a component. Uh, there will be um, uh, major events and major speakers, but also we will have some town hall meetings. There will be some small groups where people will discuss the issues among themselves and this dialogue. Uh, it will continue after commemoration. We hope that it will continue, this dialogue will continue into the future. The only thing I want to add is that we want and we believe that Ukraine is actively commemorating some events, but we understand that um, some state and public resources, they are limited. That's why we want to uh, contribute and also uh, World Jewish Congress wants to uh, contribute and to make these events international. And uh, also, you, you remember about the, uh, the commemoration of Auschwitz, uh, 17th anniversary uh, of uh, uh, freeing people from Auschwitz, and that was the big event. And we met with the president, and uh, he uh, uh, said that uh, that is the level of commemoration that should be held in Ukraine. It should be a great international event with broad representation of world scientific and intellectual and public community and uh, representatives of uh, heads of states. And also we try to – we want to uh, complete these uh, introduce these goals into reality. Information agency, I have a question to Adrian Kretnitsky. When you said that some experts and architects will come and that there will be a competition, so it is on the way, as I understood. Can you tell us about this uh, contest? And uh, you said that there should be united uh, uh, design. So uh, some, I want to pay your attention to draw your attention, there is a website that is called concourse.kby.kiev.ua. I will provide you with the such materials, and you can find information on our site, uh, ukrainianjewishencounter.org. You can also see these contest materials, and it is done um, under the auspices of um, um, International Union of Architects. And the jury, the members of the jury, these are leading specialists. Uh, James Youngert, he is the leading expert in architectural 
commemoration. And he is the uh, professor of University of Massachusetts and leading architects of Ukraine and uh, international um, representatives. They will take part in this jury, and this will add to the uh, discussion. And we try to build connections and to make this contest uh, international and to uh, establish a dialogue on a broader basis in order to reach these goals. So we are speaking about the territory. I, this territory had some historic stages that it went through. History of Ukraine is rather chaotic, and um, there are some different narrative and the idea is to make a design of this territory. And uh, there is a project pro provided by the state, LA of victims, a layer of um, uh, those who do right. So there are some funds allocated for these projects, and uh, these projects will continue. But the idea is to transform this uh, Park. This should be the park f uh, for having our goal is to create incentive that uh, people should rest in this park, but there should be some. Uh, there shouldn't be a place for some loud events. We understand that more than 100,000 uh, victims are there in that territory, in that land, and uh, people should respect them. But we understand that people who live nearby, they shouldn't lose the access to the spark. So this should be harmonization between the interests of people and the aim of the contest. Uh, we have different narratives, different ideas, but we believe that we will create some, uh, we will provide some answers and to find uh, some right solutions. But we understand that uh, commemoration uh, projects, these are the matters for architects, for uh, experts, and of course, uh, uh, political reality should be included. And uh, I'm from New York, and there uh, were some uh, interesting projects um, uh, for the, to commemorate 9-11 uh, uh, tragedy. But uh, in the course of discussion with the public and politicians, they transformed to less aesthetic, but we understand this, that this is normal, that in discussion there, are, there is dialogue, and this dialogue requires some compromise, and we give incentives uh, to create a proper dialogue, a proper approach to discuss these issues. You see, I'm seeing questions, um, the first one as to chronology. So the biggest number of events will be in autumn. And what will be held, for example, in spring and summer? And do you have confirmation of participation of relatives in the events that will be in autumn? about relatives or witnesses. We expect that people will be present, but this is in process. The only thing I can add, I cannot tell on behalf of administration and government, but as I understand, they understand that uh, there should be relatives present during this commemoration events. Maybe someone from this group will uh, have a speech and will represent these 
this group of people and uh, these questions should be asked uh, and these are questions for the government and head of administration and at the level of uh, uh, ministries, these are ministries of culture and Mr. Pavlenka, so this is, uh, they will work in this direction. And uh, at youth conference, we expect the participation of Revlich, Mr. Revlich, who survived Holocaust in Drzhany, and uh, he created a film about his way back to Drzhany, and this film will be shown, and and Aaron, Mr. Aaron Weiss, he also survived Holocaust, and in both cases, they were saved by Ukrainians. And uh, they are elderly people, but they do a lot for young people. And as to your second question, we plan that on the 9th of June, we will know what are the finalists, first nine places as to the competition, as to the contest. And in a week, uh, for example, on the 20th of June, we will have a briefing and we will discuss uh, this memorial space. So this is the end of our press briefing. If you have questions, put them off record. Thank you very much. Until the next time, goodbye.